Hey there! Today's video is going to be Minecraft inspired. We're going to be making pixelated creeper heads. This is going to be made with the sugar cookie dough recipe. And as always, the recipe and everything you're going to need will be in the description box down below. So let's get started on this recipe. Start by softening your unsalted butter. Mix that well and then we're going to add our sugar to this. Combine that well and once that's well incorporated, you're going to add one egg to this. Make sure all your ingredients are at room temperature. And then with a spatula, just combine everything well, scrape the bowl, and then add your salt and vanilla extract to this. Mix it well. And then add in your flour to this mixture. I'm gonna use my spatula, but you can use a stand mixer or a handheld mixer. I'm just gonna combine this all well until it starts to come together. And once the cookie dough comes together, I'm just gonna form a disc, and then I'm gonna wrap this up in some plastic wrap, stick it in the fridge for about half an hour. You can leave it overnight or use it anytime. Once it has chilled, I'm gonna split this in half. Once you get the half, wrap it back up and stick this back in the fridge. You can use it for anything else or to make more. I'm taking half and cutting that into four portions. Here's the image I'm gonna be referencing. Start by dyeing one part of this black. And then with a green, just slightly tint these other three parts. You're gonna to wanna to start with a light green and then work your way to a darker green. And I'm using my template as a reference. You can get the image online. Just look up for the creeper head and use any that you like. And then I'm gonna be using this Play-Doh Fun Factory to get my squares pressed out. So you're gonna take part of your sugar cookie, put it into the toy, and then squeeze out the strands. I did about two to three pumps per color. You can do up to four, depending on how many cookies you wanna make. Once you've squeezed out all the strands for every color, you're gonna put them on a parchment papered baking sheet and stick these in the freezer for 10 minutes. You're just gonna want them to harden up slightly. And then I cut them all in half and started to stack them up. I did my first layer side to side and I worked from the bottom of my image up. And then each new layer, you're just gonna wanna stack a strand on there. And just keep stacking and alternating your colors until you get your desired image. This is a little bit of a time consuming project, but it looks absolutely incredible once you're done. Once you're done stacking this all, stick it in the freezer again just to let this harden for about 10 minutes or half an hour. Cut that first part off and then just start slicing off your cookies. And as you can see, there's the creeper head. These came out absolutely amazing and then just cut them off, put them on a cookie pan with a parchment paper sheet on there and cut out all your cookies from this. Once you have cut them out, you're going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 12 to 18 minutes, depending on your oven. Once the bottom is slightly brown, you know they're ready. And here's the final image of those cookies. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, it does take some time, but it looks pretty awesome. It looks pixelated. It looks like an 8-bit head. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos that I post, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date for when I post something new. If you want to see pictures of everything I make, these cookies and everything else, I post all over on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Facebook, and those links are down below as well. If you want to suggest something else for a future video, leave it in the comments down below. And until next time, stay sweet.